Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your July 2018 general reading. Let's jump into this, okay? Alright, where are we? This is where we are. Um, energetically, some of you are feeling a little bit more happier about a decision you made. Maybe in regards to work. Um, some of you get a large payout in regards to work. Something around a large payout. Uh, maybe it was a contract signing, something here. Um, but it was good news and it was good for you. And um, you got what you wanted here. Some of you made a decision about how to spend your energy. Like you're not going to spend your time and your energy doing X, Y, and Z. Doing a certain thing. Um, in regards to work and career. Some of you are comfortable with having two partners. This could be my Sag woman, my Sag man. There, there's two people here. Um, you love or like them for two very different reasons. They're two different people. They fulfill, you know, your needs on a certain level. Whatever each one fulfills a different need. Somebody, someone's pregnant. Somebody's pregnant. I don't know. Sad woman or sad man. You've got someone pregnant. Um, somebody else is walking away too. Like they're making plans of walking away. Um, they're concerned about the money issues of walking away. Maybe from you Sagittarius. Or you're walking away from someone. And you're concerned about the money there's a baby. There's a baby. Um, this might be in a relationship that's going well. There's a baby coming. Some of you are of two minds about a situation. Some of you want to go back to someone who you were with for a long time. You grew up with or I don't know. You were with them for a long time. Um, but then you have someone else. You just don't know how things are going to turn out. So you're kind of in and out. And wishy-washy about the situation. But you really want this person back. You really, really, really like, love this person. The love never died. You feel like they're the perfect person for you. It's an obstacle in a way of you guys getting together. Okay. Okay. And we put those up. Okay. So let's pull some cards for love. Four cards for love for Sagittarius. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, remember to comment below so you'll be entered to win a free reading. Okay, so just you know, take advantage of that, especially those people who email me and they are requesting free readings. Get in on the, the raffle. Comment below. You could be the lucky winner. Okay, four cards for sad for love. Four cards. Right, Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Judgment, yep, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, right. and then at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords, wow, sad, didn't I say dealing with like all these different people, this could be you, of course, the Queen of Wands, there's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio has been coming up in your readings for a very long time, you need to make a judgment call. This is the wife. This is the long-term girlfriend here. The Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Uh, some of you also dealing with another fire sign. Then there's air also. The Queen the queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. My gosh, Sag. <laughs> uh, either you have a lot of suitors. 
or if you're a man, you, you oh, how do you keep up is the question. But however you slice it, there's Sagittarius or if you or this is the cross watcher, there's more than one person involved in a love relationship. And what did I say in the stones? This person fulfills this need and that one fulfills another need and you know it's like the sad just trying to piece together a woman or a man you know with not finding all that they need in one woman and one man trying to piece together all these different women all these different men it could be men also it could be same sex too so all right career and finance four cards for Sagittarius for career and finance Love was straight to the point. There's no, I mean, there needs to be a decision made, and the universe is telling you, but it didn't look like it. Okay, bottom of the deck, three of hearts. Some of you regret not saying things, some of you want reconciliation, maybe in a um, business partnership, something to do with career and finance. Let's see, yeah, ten of spades, something ended. Maybe you want something back here. Uh, nine of space. Yeah, you keep thinking about it heavily. Maybe an air sign has something to do with something ending. Yeah, hesitating before making a decision to possibly go back. Maybe ask for another um, chance in regards to uh, job loss or contract lost or hesitate not saying exactly what you wanted to say maybe in regards to negotiation you felt like you didn't get all that you wanted six of spade um but you made an achievement over what was burdensome to you seven of diamonds and you got what you wanted you got good news surprise news baby news you got good news here but somehow this this contract, this career in finance, it's making you, you know what, somebody else may be in your ear in regards to um, telling you like, well, you know you could have asked, you know you could have done, and oh, did you know this, and did you know that, and just bringing so many different um, aspects to you in regards to a situation. Um some of you did something for maybe someone that is uh, high up maybe a celebrity status and maybe you didn't charge what you wanted to charge or something something is making you just like oh my gosh you know you, you, you're thinking about it heavily but it was still good whatever happened here it was still good okay leaving flipped over flipped out almost jumped out okay bottom of the deck gracefully aging I felt that for some of you when I was shuffling off camera gracefully aging talks about just that gracefully aging um, it, of course it talks about the outward appearance how do you look how are you maintaining yourself X Y and Z but also this talks about the inner you too we there's a saying with time or you know with age comes wisdom are you gaining that sage wisdom are you maturing are you stuck and stagnant um, that's a question you have to ask yourself you have to be reflective about that um, and then also the outward appearance are you are you taking care of yourself um, you, we age up not you know not down so we want to uh, you know enact new beauty regimens and you know now you're getting wrinkle cream you know <laughs> all kinds of stuff also this talks about being appropriate dressing appropriate saying what is appropriate being appropriate around you know your age group and or younger or older gracefully aging here all right, and then we have changing your mind. This popped out off camera for you. Some of you are changing your mind about, right, with this definitely in career and finance, you felt like it was a good thing, especially in the shelves when we saw the signing of contracts or you got something that was really good. 
then you're changing your mind about it, about how you felt about the situation, about the the, the uh, final draft of something. Uh, leaving, you might be leaving someone, leaving a home, leaving leaving a certain mindset behind, uh, or or you could be just in contemplation of leaving. Also, uh, you have a lot of face cards, people cards, in love. You have to make a decision with judgment here. The universe is telling you, look, hey, you've gone too far with being comfortable with two and three people, as we saw in the shells. You have to be final. Or something or someone will make the decision for you. Because it looks like somebody was trying to sneak off anyway. But they're concerned about money. Motivation. Yeah, have the motivation to be courageous enough to choose. You know, choose one of these people here. Motivation to, to continue doing whatever, whatever it is you do in career also. It looks good. Um, it looks like it may be whatever happened for you it was kind of like the first time or or the idea or the concept is in its infancy so maybe you need to tweak a few things get some details right maybe you were shorted or or uh, I don't know you know but um, have the motivation to do the research so next time you'll prepare and you get exactly what you ask for and you won't feel like you regret not saying things okay and this could be an uh, actual job a contract i don't know sentimental feelings um yeah this is what keeps you stuck here with the wife the long-term girlfriend sentimental feelings you're in love complete in love with someone else but the sentiment is here with a long-term person it's also here with something ending or you not getting what you, you felt like you deserved or there was some people around and they may have added to uh, your sentiment, your mind changing about this whole situation. Okay, Sagittarius, if this resonates with you, please like, click that like button right now subscribe to the channel uh, leave a comment that enters you to win a free reading um follow me on instago it's an app for iphone ios users follow me on instagram my handles are below go to go over to my website book a reading there uh send me an email if you want to book a reading that way i probably will direct you to the website uh, what else is there? Go fund me. If you're feeling moved, you want to donate to the channel to get more cards, to get more stones, to get whatever, $5, $2, whatever, donate to the channel. Go fund me. The link is, link is below. All monies through GoFundMe go back into the channel. Um, what else? I think that's it. Um, just be sure to comment below, like, subscribe and share share this post um know that i'm praying for you sagittarius so pray for me as well remember when in doubt pray um thank you for tuning in again i will see you guys in august or i will talk to you in august okay take care guys